Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the familiar Game Jam 6. The familiar Game Jam is a game jam that happens every six months in a physical location in Spain and also online here on Game Jolt. I will be playing all of the games that were entered in this jam for about a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so feel free to check them out. The theme was no characters. As always, feel free to like and comment. And at the end, I might have an article of my favorites over on Fireside, so keep an eye out for that. That's it. Next. First, we're playing Shape Wars. Did you know this game is made by a 12 year old? I did not. WASD to move, left click to shoot, shoot to go to war. Alright. Ah. Kill all the targets before they attack you. This game is quite ah, colorful. There's quite a lot going on. So I don't need to kill things that aren't shooting. The rest are just in there to confuse you. Flying around, warning, something, something, kill all enemies in a time period. Warning zone, warning time zone approaching. It's kind of a game about keep moving and aim. Wow, that was weird. It was like a triangle with tons of things around it. Easy, hard. Ah, they all turned into bad things. It's just pure luck, I swear. I'm not doing very good at all. Ugh. This is quite intense. Ah, next. We're playing The Last Chance. Long time ago, humans dominated, dominated everything was within reach of the site. They took it and corrupted it. Then they disappeared, leaving behind a great treasure. Humans, the race who believes that they are superior with his domestic fire, but they never could overcome the wisdom and the power of mother environment. Graphics look really pretty in this, the different colored trees and such. Last chance, WSD, eat a take, awesome. Here's where everything started. Treasure, gold, silver, diamonds, everything they wanted and I provided us. But there is one thing more, a treasure even greater than that is yet to be discovered. Alright. My mouse does seem to sort of lock in place, so that's good. That's the thing that we just kind of activated. I'm not sure this fire is right next to me, it's kind of cool looking though. I like trees on fire with it. Hello, Kiwi. Kiwi is the bird screeching in the background. Prevent your fire turn off. Prevent your fire turn off. I don't know how. I don't know how to prevent my fire turn off. Game over. You can't be like that. I refuse to believe that. Hmm, I don't think I quite got it, but it looked really interesting. Next, we're playing hot dogs. You start off with $10 to fund your business. Good luck. Day one, weather's clear. How many signs do you want to make? It costs $5 each. We'll make one. One signs. All right, so money. how many hot dogs do you want to make? It costs $10 each. So we'll make five. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, make five. How much will your hot dogs be? Oh, I made 55. I don't see how I made 55 hot dogs, but okay. Um, price of hot dogs, how much will you cost? Dollar. You have enough money. All right. So let's try this again. We've got one sign. We've got, oh, five hot dogs, and we'll price for that one dollar. Um, yes. Oh, wait, we're doing this again? One sign, five hot dogs. Hot dogs will be a dollar. Total ten dollars. Do you want to change anything? No. 
You sold the total five hot dogs. You lost is five dollars. Okay. Taste whether there's earthquakes. Ooh, that made a weird sound. How many signs do you want to make? Zero. Make five hot dogs. We'll sell them. Two dollars each. I see what we did. All right. You sold two or three. Ah, apparently it does get like really hard. I can't believe I didn't like sell the hot dogs from when I bought them for. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, so we'll do zero signs. We'll do six hot dogs. We'll sell them at two dollars. No. All right, got a profit of four though. This is a pretty neat little game. Today's weather's raining. Darn. <laughs> Next, we're playing Family Matters. All right, we'll start bubbles. The soap fell in the bathtub and the bubbles took some objects. Don't let them go through the window. Oh, okay, so like some stuff floating out. All right. All right, we got this. No. All right, so soap and rubber duckies and soap. We don't want the rubber duckies to escape with the soap. Darn bubble thieves. All right, we're doing great. Not letting anything get past. Just part of being a family, I guess. Making sure your kids' toys don't get taken by bubbles. I kind of want to try some of the other the room, so I'm gonna let these toys go through. All right, first 40. I win. All right, plunger. Unclog the toilet. Click as fast as possible to get the, to unclog it. All right, so this one only has 30 seconds to do it. I like the graphics in this. They're like you can tell what everything is, and they're kind of nicely done. Kind of nicely done. They are nicely done. Probably the best clicker ever. All right. All right. Ah, oh, you can see. I want to do the kitchen. I should have probably typed my name in there. But you know. Hmm. I wonder how you unlock the kitchen. Next, we're playing Zuma. This is such a tiny little game. I suck at it so bad though. Alright. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Nope. Just kidding. Oh. Ugh. I can't even tell where the bullets are really at this point. It just gets like so zoomed in. This is pretty cool. So I kind of like, after that big noise, it kind of like gives me back a life almost. Oh wow. Once you start losing, you're gone. You've lost. Ah. Darn. Next. We're playing the last mission. WSD to move, avoid rocks, pick up that fuel, find a deck. Got it. Thematic mission FGJ-06 lost contact with Earth 45 days ago. Its last known position was that space. Mm, I didn't get a chance to read that. This is a cool looking background and spaceship. Got like a mini map and everything. I'm gonna get some of this fuel because I want to make sure I have plenty of fuel, I guess. And then we're going to this like planet to dock, I think.
didn't quite make it to where we need to dock. Ugh. I suck at controlling these sort of spaceship games. Ah, uh, how did I still miss it? How am I not docking? I'm not sure what we're running into. These like invisible wall things? Uh, are we supposed to dock backwards? Because I don't see how that'd work. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Wow, I failed that so bad. Navigation manuals provide harder than expected. Our pilot is exhausted. No news from Earth. The crew started to lose their nerve. Alright. Wow, I made that way more complicated than it had to have been. It's a really pretty background and everything. Next. We're playing Keep Calm and Make Life. Tip trees are robot. Okay, whatever that means. Check out the controls really quick. Alright, so we've got three things oxygen, humidity, and heat. You can manipulate the environment with three different ways to change the plant's parameters, but you can't take them out of the limit. Try to balance oxygen, humidity, and heat to create life. If you be careful, kind of natural disasters can happen. Alright. That'll be fine. I like how clean this game looks. All of the buttons look very clean and all of the colors look very clean. Alright. So we need rain because we need humidity to be way better. We also need oxygen. Because we really don't have much oxygen at all. Maybe some more rain now. While well, the rain keeps taking away the heat. The trees are starting to grow. And the water level's rising. Because humidity, or because oxygen also puts a bit of humidity up. So we're nearly at green for everything. Need a little bit more rain. Beautiful. We're at green for everything. A meteor will crash onto your planet in three rounds. Alright. I'm not sure what that meteor did, but everything is in green. So, so isn't this life now? Because everything's in green. A volcano will erupt? No. No volcano. I don't know how to stop anything, really. Oh, I lost. We're playing Macronium 3048. Welcome to Sector 88G. You've been assigned by the director, ooh, by the director to contribute into the security program, the Cleaner Eye. You are the front line protecting the group thinking. Your mission consists in localizing and preventing dangerous individual behaviors. You are provided with a high tech CCTV terminal mind heater 3.5. Mind heater manual. WSD to pan the camera. Q and E to zoom. Click on monitors to change the view. Click on weird people to restore their mind. Good luck, the director. And apparently we use a fax machine. <laughs> Alright. What does a weird person look like? Threat levels are going down, so. Kind of zoom in, check out these people. Threats detected one, two, three. Yeah, but where are you, one, two, and three? That guy, right? Okay, with a blue, like an umbrella. No umbrella. 
No umbrella. Just need to make sure everyone's the same. There's some people with blue hair and blue jeans and such. This guy's a hat. No hats. No umbrellas. No green pants. Everyone must be gray. Gosh. Don't you guys know the rules? So we're just clicking on the people who have, um, different colors about them. Seems like it just appears on them, almost. Oh. Try again, game over. Your servants are unsatisfied. You'll be delegated to sewer maintenance. Have a nice day. Darn. Next. We're playing Cubics Low Res Edition. Alright, we're gonna do one player. So we're kinda like picking up cubes and putting them on this side, but trying to line up three. Ooh. Blue, we need orange. Oh this is this is gonna be hard. I wanna restart. I would like to restart. I totally didn't understand what was going on, but now I do. Alright. Alright, so we're just passing these along. It's red, I don't know why I have red. Let be count as three? Nope. It's kind of about sorting stuff out. This is really challenging. Oh, that won't do. Ah, this is so challenging. Alright, we're doing, we're doing not very good. Ah, next. We're playing Demorgi. Click, pop, something, something. I think it's a point and click, is that, that's what it's saying, maybe. We can break the TV. I took out a book and a flower, that's pretty nice. You get dark in here. It's still breaking the phone. This is quite weird. Now, like, killed the flower and drawn in my book. Hola, which means hello. Mimi, gracias for. I don't know. I know todos means all. The days. Something, something. Take care of mucho as I love you very much, I think. Um, gracias as thank you. Por qué? For or because of hmm yeah that's pretty impressive considering I took Spanish like what four years ago or something I kind of got a little bit of it <laughs> that's actually not very impressive considering how much Spanish I took all right so this is like a newspaper article or something about moms from the month of May I don't know, I feel like we're going into like the world of a depressed person. So this is like where the baby would play. I think maybe she had a miscarriage? I don't know. I'm just guessing by how like sad it's getting. Or a child might have died. It's always sad when stuff like that happens. I like how everything looks so hand drawn though, it's really quite nice. Just wish I knew more of how to read. Oh, this isn't good. Next. 